What's going on? This human thinks he can take on Gaharan Balefire. No, this Char thinks he can fight the Flame Legion by himself. Fighting with you is the same as fighting solo. And what is that supposed to mean? Enough! Both of you gather your troops. We need everyone for this. Glad you boys could get things settled. Let's get moving. Forward! Take down the Flame Legion! Hang on. What's that up ahead? Fools! I shall ascend to Godhood and destroy you all! wants to turn himself into a god. Get them into safety. I'll go forward. I'll go. You're not needed here. But you think you can handle this alone? You're the lunatic here. Stop arguing. We need both of you to breach the Inner Sanctum. There must be a way in. A Flame Legion controls its gates with mystic braziers. Then they should be nearby. Let's move. Lieutenant Marma, take your people and guard our backs. We're going in. You heard the man. Pull back to the entrance. We're going to need heroes to take this thing down. Scatter! Fire For the Legion! Great justice! Shake it off. Destroying the brazier weakened the gate. But it didn't destroy the gate. We have to find the other brazier and demolish that one too.
should have opened the gate to the central chamber. I'm not going to let us straight through the door. Just have to force our way in. Ah, another place to roam. <laughs> Puny mortals, you will never ascend to face me. his eyes. He slaughters his own troops to get to us. That means he's still vulnerable. He's afraid of us. Because he knows he's about to die. And he's right. Pick a limb and start chopping. We need to find another way over. If we stand here, he'll just pelt us with fireballs. Let's see where this bridge takes us. That More to close explore. Back there. Just so you know. Thanks for the save. I didn't have time to think about it. And I'm sure you would do the same for me. <laughs> Don't get too ahead of yourself. Let's just focus on finding Geheron for now. You shall not reach Lord Geheron. for Geheron. Seeing as they're ready to die, let's not keep them waiting. For the oh, oh, oh. Shake it off. Uh.
with mindless worshippers. Then he's got to go. Smartest thing you said all day. The God of Flame commands you to burn! Fought well. As did you. A long time ago, I, I made a mistake. I left when I should have stayed. And I spent the past five years trying to justify it. I still feel like I did the right thing, but I'm sorry I left. For all those years, I was so angry I wouldn't listen. I understand why you did it. I'm also sorry that you did. Are we good then? No. <laughs> but we're better. A couple of ales might help. You got a deal. This is tricky. I know the Largos are consummate assassins, but I've never tried to track one. Never even seen one, actually. Of course, very few have. They conceal themselves until ready to strike, and they take pride in efficient kills. <laughs> Taking down dangerous prey to challenge themselves and prove their worth? They'd be right at home in Holbrook. I'd love to hunt alongside a Largo someday, but until then, how do we go about finding this one? By following her trail of kills. Largos are always planning or executing their next kill. Find her latest victims? and we'll find the Largos. The last Largos sighted in the area was to the south, near the magma on the seafloor. The Largos is making a circuit. Stay near the injured you're sharks in until it comes around Leave again. Leave and be on my list. If you enjoy living, go. And now, All right, you have my attention. Speak. You are an interruption. State your business, or become mine. We've come to speak with you about the Crate Slave Master. We need to know about their magical orb that supposedly prevents Orion corruption. You speak plainly, and you hide your fear well. Still, your needs don't interest me, and I have no need of you. My people are hunters like yours. We stalk, we wait, we kill. Test us. The commander and I will prove our worth. So, it's a challenge then. Very well. I am currently amusing myself between targets. My current focus is the great sea monster in the caves nearby. Honor the Tetya's compact. That is the heart of Largos. Track it. Kill it. Bring me proof. Then I will tell you what I know about the crate. If you succeed, I'll find you. Oh, 
for great justice. Moving out! I'll destroy you all! For great justice. Defense, then offense. For great justice. Impressive. I will present this trophy to the great houses in your names. You have earned the right of introduction. I am Saya al-Rajid. Now, as we agreed, the orb you seek is a thing of legend, known only to deep dwellers. Its origins are lost, but it is extremely powerful. It may pose its own dangers, but it does counter the undead dragon's influence. Wherever the orb is, those who die near it do not rise again. The Great are keeping it in constant transit between their largest strongholds to maximize its effect. I suggest a plan. I was brought close to the Slave Master when I allowed myself to be captured. If you do the same, you may reach the orb. I'd rather snatch it in transit while it's vulnerable. The pack desperately needs to reign in Zaiten's power. We have a difficult decision here, but at least now it can be an informed decision. Thank you for your help, Saya al-Rajid. May your steps be relentless. We're ready to go, Commander. The Order of Whispers has already seeded disinformation to lead the crate here. As far as they know, the Inquest set up some troublesome packed soldiers to be sacrificed to the crate prophets. It's too much to hope that they'd toss us in the same cell. We need a plan for finding each other once they separate us. We'll also need to grab our weapons as soon as we break out of their cages. Then we can link up to search for the orb. Agreed. If they cage you underwater, look for me high up in the tower, and vice versa. I'll do the same. These slave-taking snakes will believe we're more helpless victims. <laughs> I look forward to giving them a nasty surprise. There you are, my lovelies. Stand perfectly still, and you might live a while longer. Don't struggle now, you pile of limbs. You're coming with us. You secured the armored female? Of course. And her weapons. You took care of the other one? I did. The beast hungers. In the prophet's name, soon it shall feel.
That's it. Break that crate's back. I'd be out by now if not for him. For great justice. Almost ready. I see fear in his eyes. Don't let up. He's fading fast. Finish him, thank the spirits. Now crack this cage open and let me out. I heard the crate say the orb is deep at the bottom of a cave. Let's start swimming. Welcome back, sweetly. We have a special place for you. Get back! Get back! Ah! Company, we must discuss. Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. I was intrigued by your decision to follow my lead, so I shadowed you. You handled yourselves well, until your partner miscalculated. I realized her recapture wasn't part of your plan, but it was too late. Is she alive? I need to get the orb to Traherne at Fort Trinity right away, but I can't abandon Apatia. You have no choice. The crate overwhelmed her and took her. Among my people, we would say her steps have faltered, and move on. I will deliver the orb for you. I will enjoy visiting Traherne again. I owe him, and Largos always keep our oaths. You should go too. The crate will be back in force. The longer you stay, the more likely you will end up lost, dead, or on a torture rack. That won't help your friend. I'll go. Traherne needs that orb, and I need to be at Fort Trinity. But I will come back for Apatia, I swear it. Commander, good to see you. Marshal Traherne is waiting for you. The crate orb we recovered is fascinating. It literally prevents the dead from rising again. Then I wish supplies. we had a hundred of them. How does this work? Can we replicate it? Not so far. The only thing we know for sure is that it's steeped in powerful magic. As long as it works, we can figure out why it works when the war is over. Zaitan's forces are coming. Why aren't the Asura gates functional? I'm sorry, Marshal. We can't seem to isolate the problem. It could be our proximity to ore. Or maybe we've got a saboteur. This is critical. Without those gates, we're cut off from any reinforcements. Greetings, Commander. I was sorry to pull you out of the field, but you and the crate orb you discovered are needed here. I go wherever you need me, sir. But I'm not through with those crate yet. They have a Pesha. How are things here? Fort Trinity seems to be shaping up well. I hope so. We've seen a huge increase in undead activity while we've been establishing our defenses. I believe a major attack is imminent. All the signs are there. Our outermost defenses have suffered a series of probing attacks, and we've lost several long-range scouts. We have the orb and powerful explosives developed by our top demolitionist, but there have been disturbing glitches in communication. Fort Trinity is not yet secure. Worst of all, our Asura gates are not functioning, and nobody can tell me why. Magical or mechanical failure, saboteurs, it's all very disturbing. I want you to double-check our defenses, starting with the lumber camp. They've lost a lot of workers, and we need that timber. You take point. 
We're behind schedule. Traherne needs more lumber to strengthen our fortifications. The last logging party we sent out is still missing. We have no idea what happened to them. Until we do, we can't risk sending any more. All right. Organize a search party to find the missing loggers. Once we find... and seal that gate! Time to lose. We need to secure the underwater gate. firepower you need. Tom made these bombs, and he's one of the best. Your pact is big. 
finished. Your orb, your fortress, and your sword gates belong to us. I by my hand. Great justice. Take it off. Can't lose the orb now. Right. Keep them away from me. <laughs> you didn't think we'd miss this party, did you? Don't paint this fort with undead guts. hundred years, war has been lost. Despoiled, corrupted, ruined by the presence of a dragon, an infection withering the heart of Tyrion. Fort Trinity symbolizes our determination. It stands as a mark of our unity against the dragons. From here, we will prevail. We will fight to rend the darkness with steel and flame always looking toward the door. Our victory at Fort Trinity will show the world that we can strike against the dragons. When we are ready, we will prove that even in the Sanctum of Awe, they are not untouchable. We can reach the dragon's lair in the heart of Awe. We can assault Arar. We can destroy Zaitan before the dragon's infection claims us all. This battle is over. We can triumph. But the war has just begun. I'm glad we've got the dragon's attention. I want Zaitan to know the names and faces of those who will defeat it. Fort Trinity is secure for now. So if you have no objections, I'd like us to turn our attention to Lion Guard Apatia. Thank you, sir. I know she's still in that crate city somewhere. She helped us secure the orb. We owe it to her to get her out. Agreed. I'll wrap things up here and form a rescue party. We'll meet you near the Restless Deeps. Let me be clear. Our goal here is to find and retrieve our missing comrade, Apatia. This place reeks of Zaitan's touch, so don't take unnecessary chances. Stay alert. We move fast, we stick to the surface, and we stay together. Let's begin. As I feared, the water's toxic. Stay out of these waters. I recognize the stench of this particular Orion corruption. It's more toxic than any poison. I wonder if that's what happened to the crate. When I was here before, they were swarming over this whole place. We can't assume they're gone. If the corruption killed them, they likely rose as fresh undead. Follow me, everyone. Single file, and watch your step. I don't want anyone falling into this water.
presence I sensed is up this beam. It may be the source of all this corruption. By the Pale Tree, Zaitan's corruption has claimed Apatia as well as the crate. Is she aware? Is Apatia still in there suffering? Or is she just a mindless husk? Either way, this is a cruel end for a noble hunter. It doesn't have to be the end. Having an undead captive to study, especially one we knew well, could be a huge boon to the Pact. Don't be ridiculous. There's nothing here that we couldn't get from any one of a thousand other undead. Apatia's gone, and we have to set her spirit free. And when we're done here, we travel to Holbrecht to tell her legend to the Skalds, so she'll be remembered forever. That is the Norn way. Very well. Apatia admired you greatly, Commander, so you should be the one to put her to rest. Then, to Holbrecht. Norn. May the spirits of the wild guide you to the mists. Marshal Trahan, should we accompany you to Holbrook? Not necessary. You three return to Fort Trinity. The commander and I will take it from here. Hear me, Holbrook. I sing of Apatia and the legend she forged. She was many things. A lion guard, a soldier, a hero, a friend. She joined the pact because fighting one dragon was not enough. She was determined to fight them all. Jormag, Zaitan, and any that follow. She repeatedly proved her valor and worth at Claw Island, killing scores of undead and saving hundreds of innocent lives. Moreover, she helped recover an artifact that now shields Fort Trinity from Zaitan's influence. She gave us the footing we need to strike down the dragon. Apatia's life ended on that mission, but her glorious legend lives on. Now, hear the words of the last person to fight by her side. Commander? Let the bard sing and the Skalds proclaim her glorious name forever. Join me now, until the Shiver Peaks themselves ring with the sound, Apatia! <laughs> <laughs> 